Well, some of us are new to Shom, to Ankara, and some of us are already, how can I say, oldies, but goldies. But still, we, some of us uh, do, how can I say, we are still a bit ignorant about Shom regulations and uh, responsibilities. Uh, I would like you, honestly, uh, while going out, we have a copy of the full regulation of Shom. I'd love everybody, please, to pick a copy, because this way you all know about the organization, the association, the needs, the, your responsibilities, our responsibilities, and, I mean, it's going to be clear from the start. Please do take it from the beginning, okay? The aim of SHOM mainly is, uh, especially SHOM board also, is to welcome newcomers, uh, make their life easier in uh, adapting with the new diplomatic community, also with the, as much as we can with the life in Ankara. And also we have a monthly meeting. Uh, it could be more, could be activities, could be presentations, could be morning coffees at residences, uh, outing in restaurants. Any project you feel to suggest, please feel free to do it. Uh, we also, uh, you know, organize events and uh, charity with Demet, the organization for the uh, Turkish uh, ambassadors, also. This is what becomes from our responsibility and suggestions, and we're open to any, please, any projects. And anyway, uh, the geographical group will be uh, invited to meet uh, each group uh, alone with the uh, board members so we can facilitate the communication and the projects. Now, unfortunately, I'd like to bid farewell for our friend Anita from UNHCR. Was a, still is a dear friend and uh, she was for two years a board member and a good, great help, honestly, for the board. Thank you, Anita. Good luck. Yes, I just want to say something. I just want to say thank you, everyone, for the friendship that I had with you. It was really amazing. And I was just speaking with Celestina, and we remembered with the charity group, we went uh, in the mountains to bring some clothes uh, in the Taurus Mountains in the winter with uh, Husna from Sri Lanka two years ago. And we had so much fun. Uh, I really encourage the newcomers to join and in the activities because this is how you really make friendships and you keep very good memories of this place. Uh, the, um, the activity groups are very interesting. You know, I, I hear there's going to be a dancing club this year. I'm going to miss it a lot. I always wanted to do that. Uh, but the book club, the movie club, all the clubs are very, a lot of fun. So, Enjoy, and I will miss you all. From Thank Estonia. You. Thank you very much, Runa, for hosting us today. It was a, it's a lovely day. Thank you for inviting me. A uh, few words uh, about myself. I'm a professional diplomat, and I'm sharing my time between working in the office and accompanying my husband in abroad. Uh, so we have, have traveled the world, served in Brussels, Washington, uh, Vienna, Tokyo was our most recent posting. And now we arrived here in Ankara about three weeks ago. It is a great pleasure meeting you all here and I'm looking forward for all activities we are going to do together. Thank you so much. Indeed. Please. It's not a, a rule to make a big buffet or a big thing. Already it's really appreciated to host us. I really just needed to clarify this. a few words about the sewing club how i came about uh, sewing is it was during COVID. you know we had a lockdown for about four months and we were stuck in the houses we couldn't do much so what i did i bought an extra television and i started um, having tutorials on youtube and pinterest because i have a passion in designing and i, I came up with an idea of sewing so what I did is um, I looked at the market of Turkey and I've realized, I'm sure many of you, you can share with me, if you go to the bed linen shops, you cannot find extra big bed sheets that really fit your bed. So I had an idea, I say to myself, okay, so what do I do? 
let me make some bed sheets for myself and i you know tech is very huge on uh, uh textiles so what i did i started making um bed sheets for myself then i went on ahead making clothes for myself for my children um, and in fact our surnames are even close uh, i'm zainab Arsavchi and she's zainab arkan um, we're the founders of music life around us it's an initiative it's not an association and we're not related to any associations uh, the aim of music life around us uh, was set up in, in actually 2015 and the founder is Zeynep Erkan, she's the violinist at the Presidential Symphony Orchestra. Uh, among us there were few uh, classical music enthusiasts, including the former Danish ambassador's wife, who was the first Sean liaison person. Ever since 2015, we had, um, we're going to have the 41st event soon, and we're counting. The aim is to introduce the newcomers, as we are both uh, spouses of ambassadors, former ambassadors, uh, diplomacy, helping a charity, or not, it's, it's not even a charity, but you're supporting a culture, local culture. Um, we're delighted that it's not only in the residences, but in art galleries, and sometimes uh, we take you outside to other, other cities in galleries. Um, what else? Oh, we have the Friday concerts, yeah, which, is, which is fantastic because uh, through Zeynep, uh, we could invite the show uh, members to rehearsals on fr Fridays to very important concerts. And at the end of the concert rehearsal, you, you have the chance to meet the conductor or if there's a very special soloist. And sometimes we could even host a lunch. Uh, all this is without any money. I mean, there's no money involved in that, uh, unless you choose to give some honorarium to some of the musicians. But on our part, it's, it's all free. And we're here. We will share our cards with you, whoever is interested. We're very happy to organize and uh, our 42nd, 44th, 40 and, and counting. Thank you for the opportunity. Look. Thank you. Can I keep you with me just for two minutes? So uh, the ladies, if you'd like to host in any embassy, please, as our two Zainabs just said, please, it's for free to encourage the musicians. Uh, I already offered my residents, many of us did, please do encourage them. On another note, I asked from our dear Zainab also, both of you, if we can help, if they can help us do a choir. So us, we can do a choir from uh, Spouses of Diplomat. A small and as it will be a little bit formal, because I have to explain uh, today's event, which is based on Pohela Boishak, that is the uh, Bengali New Year. We, it's a huge celebration in our country. So I would like, like to at first give you um, uh, a glimpse of, you know, uh, our uh, Pohela Boishak celebration. So I would like to read out how we celebrate it. Uh, from where it came to our culture. Uh, so I hope you will enjoy. Thank you. Invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Shukho Shokal and Hosh Galdenis. It's an honor and privilege for me to welcome you all to the premises of Bangladesh House. In terms of the date of our arrival to Turkey, I cannot claim myself uh, to be a newcomer anymore. However, Considering the date of presentation of credentials by my husband, ambassador of Bangladesh to Turkey, I'm still a new kid on the block. From, the, from that perspective, it's also a matter of great pleasure for me to be able to host the first meeting of SHOM for the year of 2023. Taking this opportunity, I wanted to showcase one of the most colorful celebrations that we have in Bangladesh, it's very difficult to portray the whole gamut of Pohela Boishak, the Bengali New Year celebrations within the short scope of limit of today's meeting. 
चाँद बदनी धनी नाचो तो देखी सोहाग चाँद बदनी धनी नाचो तो देखी बला नाचो तो देखी बला नाचो तो देखी बला नाचो तो देखी सोहाग नाचन भलो सुंदरी बाधेन भलो चूल नाचन भलो सुंदरी बाधेन भलो चूल हेलिया दुलिया पड़े ना किशोर फूल बाला हेलिया दुलिया पड़े ना किशोर फूल बाला ना किशोर फूल शोहग चाँद बादुनी धुनी ना जो तो देखी शोहग चाँद बादुनी धुनी ना जो तो देखी 